servant. A time of giving, a time of receiving. A young man was given three gifts. A box of chocolates, a silver watch and a beautiful Bible. Some weeks later, someone asked the young man, what about your gifts? Oh, he says, the chocolates are well gone. The watch is still going, but the word of the Lord abideth forever. Her verse, her verse today is found in Matthew's Gospel, chapter chapter 1, verse 21. A message to the angel from God. The message from the angel to Joseph concerning Mary. And she shall bring forth a son, and thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. Jesus, my Saviour, to Bethlehem came, born in a manger to sorrow and shame. Oh, it was wonderful. Blessed be his name, coming for me, for me. The Bible says, All have sinned and come short of the glory of God. There is none righteous, no, not one. God the Father sent God the Son to be the Saviour of the world. God was in Christ reconciling the world to himself. The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Thou shalt call his name Jesus, for he shall save his people from their sins. God loves you. The Lord Jesus Christ died for you, and whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. God has devised a means whereby his people are not banished from him forever. There's a way back to God from the dark past of sin. There's a door that is open and you may come in. At Calvary's cross, that's where you begin when you come as a sinner to Jesus. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. The Samaritans in, in John's Gospel chapter 4, after listening to the Lord Jesus, said concerning him, we have found him. We have found him for, for ourselves, and he is indeed the Christ, the Saviour of the world. There is one who was willing to die in our stead, that we so unworthy might live, and the path to the cross. He was willing to go, and he carried our sins with him there. Christmas, a time of giving. Christmas, a time of receiving. This is a, an opportunity to call on the Lord Jesus Christ. Forgive, ask him to come into your heart and into your lives. If, if we, if we confess with our lips the Lord Jesus and believe in our hearts, we shall be saved. Saved from the, from the punishment of sin. Saved from the power of sin. Saved from the, saved for all eternity. At Christmas, at Christmas, at Christmas, we were given a, received a, received a, a Christmas card with a, 
with a white a white stud in it. There's a story told, story related by Sir Harry Lauder. He was in he was in New York, and this young man, this this man was coming to visit him. You know, Sir Harry, Sir Harry lost a son in the, the Great War. And it was decided in America, it was decided in America that whosoever gave their son to the war were allowed to put a star in their window. Now the young, the, the man and his young son were walking, walking down an avenue in New York. And the wee boy looked up at the window and says, Oh, Dad, there's someone, there's someone giving their son to the war. And Dad, Dad, there's a, there's someone, there's someone who have given two sons. And there's another one who has given no sons. After a little while after, the, there was a gap, there was a gap, for a gap in the, in the tall buildings and the wee, the wee boy looked up at the evening star and said oh dad daddy god god must have given his son sir harry relating the story as the man related the story to him said that's true for god so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have a personal possession, everlasting life. Life with a capital, life with a capital L. John 10 and 10, I am come, the person. That you might have life, the promise, and have it more abundantly, the possession. Whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. I, Israel, 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 when sending his sons back to to Egypt, to Joseph, he said, he said to them, take, take, take the man, take the man a present. A little balm, a little balm for healing. A little honey for sweetness. Nuts, nuts and almonds for fruitfulness. How much, how much in this, these dark and difficult days among the people of God do we need these gifts? For unto you, for unto you a son is given, unto you a child is born, and they shall call his name Wonderful, Counselor, the Mighty God. The everlasting Father, the Prince of Peace. Christmas considered, consider, consider the Lord Jesus, who, who, who died the just for the unjust, to bring us to God. Thank you very much for listening. And. And on behalf, on behalf of the friends at the Arnett Gospel Hall, we wish you a very happy Christmas and a prosperous new year in the will of God.